Hi, this is Deepika Sharma and I'm going to present about Papua New Guinea's business, governmental, regulatory and economic environment. So as you can see, this is Papua New Guinea. It is situated above uh, Australia near the Solomon Sea and Bismarck Sea. Let's talk about its history and origins. Papua New Guinea is a very culturally diverse uh, country, yet it, uh, it is very rural as only 18% people live in urban areas. Papua New Guinea or PNG is the sixth fastest growing economy in the world due to mining. However, it still uh, is affected by poverty as about one third of its population is living on less than uh, 1.25 US dollars per day. PNG was ruled by three external powers since 1884, that is Germany, Britain and Australia. The two territories were combined into the territory of Papua and New Guinea, which later was simply referred to as Papua New Guinea finally gained independence uh, from Australia on 16th September 1975 and consequently became a member of the United Nations on October 10th 1975. The, here's a little bit more about Papua New Guinea. Uh, the population of Papua New Guinea is uh, as per the 2011 consensus is about 7.3 million and its growth is Growth rate is 3.1%. Its capital is Port Moresby and it's named after Captain uh, who later became Admiral John Moresby. Uh, he explored uh, Port Moresby in 1873. There are about 718 languages, but uh, English, Tok Pisin, and Hiri Motu are official languages. Tok Pisin is also known as New Melanesian or PG in English and is used as the common language amongst people. Uh, the currency of uh, PNG is uh, called the Kina and uh, PNG has a literacy rate of about 63% as per 2013 records. PNG is well known for its uh, min uh, mining, mineral, mineral mining uh, such as gold and copper. And it's also known for oil and natural gas uh, and the, pro the production of these uh, dominate the economy. People, people as, uh, as I said earlier, people, uh, only 18% of people live in urban areas. So most people uh, are, live in villages or dispersed hamlets and most of them survive on subsist subsistence farming. Uh, with crops like sweet potatoes and taro. People also hunt and collect wild plants or fish and are dependent on local environment and modes of, subs uh, and modes of subsistence. In Australia, uh, its previous colon uh, colonial ruler, provides about... Uh, <coughs> 480 US million dollars a year in assistance which is the largest it gets from any country and it's also known as AusAid NG and uh, most people uh, survive on subsistence and semi-subsistence farming which uh, supports 85% of the population. Let's talk about Papua New Guinea's economic performance. Uh, the economic growth of PNG rose to about 8% in 2014 due to the beginning of the liquefied natural gas uh, project and growth uh, in other sectors remained uh, modest. The construction output dropped by 6.4% in 2014. Uh, this stalled the wholesale and retail growth at 5.5%. And it also slowed down utilities uh, as, uh, by about 3% in 2014. The older mining operations uh, suffered 
long term declines uh, but mining and quarrying uh, still ex managed to expand by 5.9% which was uh, due to the new nickel project so here are some figures about png's uh, economic uh, prospects in the current year that is 2015 and in 2016 PNG's GDP uh, in billion US dollars in the last five years has been in, has been increasing since 2010. Uh, it has had about a four point almost a 4.5 billion uh, increase since 2010 till 2014. Its current GDP as per 2013 records stands to about 19 billion. The US dollars and the annual growth rate uh, is projected at 5.4% as per 2000, 2013 records. GDP per capita in PNG is about 2,539 US dollars. Overall, the country ranks 137 out of 192 countries in the GDP uh, arena and uh, industry is the ma ma major uh, contributor to the GDP growth while manufacturing is the least uh, uh, least uh, contributing sector in PNG's GDP. The economic prospects of GDP uh, of PNG are projected to for, to grow by 21% in 2015 as per Asian Development Outlook. Uh, the forecast uh, is uh, is based on the oil and gas sector, as 2015 will be the first full year of LNG production, that is liquid liquefied natural gas production, and in 2016 it is. It, it, it is projected to decline by 10%. The real growth in mining and quarrying sector is expected to reach about 12%. The decline of 9% in the 2016 forecast is mainly due to the expansion of the new nickel mine. Let's compare Papua New Guinea versus India, which is my home country. Um, the population of Papua New Guinea is 7.3 million, whereas India is the second largest uh, country, uh, second most populated country at uh, 1.3 billion people. The banking system, banking and financial systems of uh, PNG in India are almost similar, uh, except that uh, in the sense that both of them have a national uh, banking corporation for example png has bank of papua new guinea whereas india has the reserve bank of india um papua new guinea has four commercial banks uh the first one is the png banking corp it's actually a merger between the png banking corporation and the bank of south pacific uh, and bank south pacific limited which makes it the largest commercial bank of png um then there is Westpac, uh, ANZ, which is the Australian New Zealand uh, Bank uh, of PNG and Maybank. All these commercial banks are actually subsidiaries of uh, international banks. But in India, there, uh, there are three three um, main categories under the the uh, Reserve Bank of India, which are commercial, regional, and cooperative banks. Papua New Guinea seems to have only commercial banks and no regional or cooperative banks at all. Um, ins the the insurance industry is not uh, a good idea in Papua New Guinea, as uh, Papua New Guinea is is very uh, is uh, has a different topography than most countries and people usually go and uh, like 
if they are given insurance they usually go and uh, hide in the mountains as png is very uh, rich in resources um papua new guinea uh, um the major exports in papua new guinea are minerals and petroleum whereas india uh, aces uh, exports with nickel uh, with nickel fur skins and artificial fur the largest employer is uh, in papua new guinea is agriculture as most people are engaged in subsistence farming uh, but in india uh, the largest employers are the army and the railways the gdp growth of papua new guinea as per 2013 is 2088.35 billion us dollars whereas india india's gdp is is a lot more than papua new guinea's at a 1.877 trillion us dollars as per 2013 records uh, although the gdp of papua new guinea is uh, is a lot less than india's but the gdp growth rate is uh, 0.4% higher than india so to conclude papua new guinea is uh, richly endowed with natural resources but exploitation has been hampered by rugged terrain land tenure issues and the high cost of developing infrastructure the economy has a small formal sector focused mainly on the export of those natural resources and an informal sector which employs the majority of the population agriculture provides a subsistence livelihood for 85% of the people mineral deposits including copper gold and oil account for nearly 2/3 of export earnings natural gas reserves amount to an estimated 1. Uh, estimated 155 billion cubic meters and facility <coughs> The government faces the challenge of ensuring transparency and accountability for revenues flowing from this and other large LNG projects. In 2011 and 12, the National Parliament passed legislation that created an offshore sovereign wealth fund to manage government surpluses from mineral oil and natural gas projects. In recent years, the government has opened up markets in telecommunications and air transport. making both affordable to the people of papua new guinea numerous challenges still face the government of peter o'neil including providing physical security for foreign investors regaining investor confidence restoring integrity to state institutions promoting economic efficiency by privatizing moribund state institutions and maintaining good relations with australia as former colonial ruler other socio cultural cha- challenges could upend the economy including including chronic law and order and land tenure issues thank you these are the references that i used for this video